AV Tech. Best class. Okay, so in film class, uh, I think it's pretty obvious that we film. And uh, we, we work with programs and the computers. Like I said, I like to be the editor. I love editing. We use Adobe Premiere. And some people can work it, some people can work it. I can do. And what's it like acting, Ellen? Well, it's, it's interesting because you just try not to laugh. Might try not to cry at the same time because sometimes you get frustrated with who you're working with. But in the end, it just all ends up pretty good. You have a movie that you made and you can go to the movie and be like, I did that, I can do that. After she giggles 30 times. <laughs> 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 now, Russ. Well, I don't know. I've just always liked movies and I just think it's cool to be able to come in here and uh, edit. So even though if I don't know how to work it, I might ask these people to help me with it. And I think it's just pretty cool to go back and look at some of the stuff that I've done, some of my work, and then see it in another video. So like, oh, hey, I know how that works. It's just really fun. And plus, I just like to film. Y'all So, cameraman Hannah, who has not been interviewed, how do you feel about AV Tech? <laughs> hey, I'm Coach Bianco. I am the AV Tech teacher here at Kirk County High School. Uh, what AV Tech is, is audio, visual, technology, and film. Okay, there are three courses, uh, each one built on the next. Uh, but what we do with AV Tech, um, we learn the ins and outs of filming, uh, video editing, uh, sound, editing um, and each progression uh, will get a little bit better um, with, with each AV1, 2, and 3. Um, we're also in charge of the War Cry. That is our weekly broadcast um, that our students put together every week. Uh, they're in charge of organizing it, filming it, editing it, and uh, sticking to deadlines to make sure it goes out every single Monday. Um, it's a lot of responsibility, but it's something that my uh, AV Tech 2 and 3 class is doing. A lot of projects, uh, each one's a little bit different than it hopefully builds skills, whether it's filming, whether it's editing, sound. Um, but it's a very hands on and project oriented class. That's maybe time. What does your program involve? Our program involves in the light maintenance repair, and we also involve collision repair side of it. Light maintenance repair involves just oil change, tire rotation, maintenance of your vehicle, keeping it repaired for a road. Collision side teaches you how to spray, how to prepare and prep for being able to spray a panel and then spray a vehicle. Does it help with college? Yes, the program actually is the same program that they use in their trade schools. The same books that we go over, the same material that we study here is the same material that's studied in the trade schools. Do you enjoy teaching this class? Yes, I really do. I have never been a teacher. This is my first year here in Hurt County, but I have really enjoyed it and learned a lot through the program and learned a lot through the training that the schools put me through. And I really enjoyed the kids. Got to do a lot more and get involved in more stuff than they have in the future, and their kids are really enjoying it. What career does this help the most with? This, is, this will be a career in hands-on training preparing kids for outside, uh, being able to work on a vehicle, being able to work with their hands and trying to get them ready for the workplace. Hey, my name is Josh Caldwell and what I like about this class is it's more hands-on and it'll help me in my future in being a diesel mechanic. So we're here today and my name is Joseph Whitehead and some things I enjoy about this class is uh, we bring our own trucks in, we work on them. Uh, install light bars, whatever you want to do. Uh, we practice welding. We just build our own projects and do what we got to do. Hi, I'm Chef Tillman. I'm the culinary arts instructor here at Heard County High School. I've been with Heard County High School for about 11 years now. Uh, the program, when I started here, it was a family consumer program, a homemade program, and then we trans transcended into what we have today, a full blown uh, culinary arts program. We have state-of-the-art equipment, and where the students get um, 
that hands-on experience versus just looking at things in the textbook. Start as soon as intro to culinary arts. Oh. All right, so they're making um, fruit tarts in the class today. So they're making their pastry cream. Right now they're mixing their egg yolks and their sugar together and they get ready to start adding the cornstarch and the flour, all-purpose flour to it. And then once they get that mix, then they're gonna add that to their heated cream and cook it over the stove to make that pastry cream for them and then we're gonna let it cool overnight. And so after tomorrow, once they're done uh, letting that cool, whisking it back up, they're gonna put it inside of the tarts that they're making, which they've already mixed up. They have them in the freezer now. And they got their tart pans here ready. They're gonna bake them in the oven. Then they're going to add the pastry cream, and then they're going to put the arrangement of fruit on top. Strawberries, blueberries, grapes, kiwi, and other fruits and stuff like that. So just letting us cool. But that's what their um, assignment is. And that's just a, a typical assignment, something like that basic in an intro class. This is my intro to culinary arts course. I try to keep the, um, the recipes that they create or they implement in the classroom something simple that won't cause them to trip up and things like that. I wouldn't tell them to make, you know, a souffle because that takes the technique, especially with the folding of the eggs, um, the egg yolks, and then the flour and the sugar and things like that. But, um, yeah, they do it pretty good though. I am. I'm proud of them. You know, this is their first time in lab. Um, mainly what I'm looking at is the sanitation practices and making sure that they're able to read and follow the, the recipe according to how it was written. I believe in, regardless of what our opinion may be with a recipe, always do it according to how it's written. When it's complete, then you can modify that recipe. So, that's what we're doing. Hi, my name is Mary Beth and I am the athletic trainer and sports medicine teacher here at Hearn County High School and in the sports medicine pathway you do the introduction to healthcare class, the essentials of healthcare class, and then the sports medicine class. The intro to healthcare class is just going to give you more information about different fields in healthcare. The essentials class is going to be like an anatomy and physiology class. And then your sports medicine class is more geared to what I do as an athletic trainer. So some of the ways that that could help you is if you are interested in any kind of healthcare career in the future, um, that can give you an opportunity to kind of jumpstart that career, especially if you're looking at being in athletic training. Um, we have different opportunities for you to do work-based learning with me. You can come out, you can watch football practice and see how that goes. You can see what I do on a daily basis. And then you just get more information about generalized healthcare. Um, that anatomy class, the essentials class, is really good if you're thinking you're wanting to do a healthcare field because that will give you something to kind of jumpstart your college career in healthcare because you will have to take anatomy and physiology at some point. So there are lots of different ways that it can help you and we would love for you guys to come out and take a look at our program. Hey, I'm Ellie Gooch. Um, I've been in this class since the beginning of my freshman year, but we just got Miss Winningham as our teacher and I love her to death. Um, we've come very close. Um, in this class, I put people up on the stem, I help them do treatments. Um, I listen to people cry when they do ice baths, um, which is pretty funny. And, um, this class helps me because it's made me decide what I want to do in my future. I want to be in the medical field um, and be 
a hospice nurse one day, and um, this class has just really helped me, you know, figure out like what I want to be. And, different competitions have a chance to win money. It's open to 9th through 12th grade. 